welcome back, folks. Today here we'll be talking about a big topic. Yes, uh, today I wanted to bring up something that really seems to be causing some controversy within the world of Remix. You see, I believe people have heard of this before, but they don't know as much about it as they should. Oh, well, I think I might know what you're talking about. And I think it's copyright. <laughs> Copyright is a form of protection guard in the U.S. Constitution for the works of authorship, fixed and tangible meaning of expression. Well, uh, let me just, uh, put on this watch and I guess we'll keep talking. Alright, anyway. So what is it about copyright that people just don't seem to get? Actually, Ned, I have no idea. Copyright confuses the- Bleep! Out of me. Let me refer you to my special team. <laughs> Well, uh, that was a fast trip. Am I right, fellas? Uh, mm -hmm. don't care. Great, uh, now that I'm here, who can tell me anything about copyright? Well, uh, you see, the trouble with copyright is that it's a complicated law, and there are many different licenses that can apply under the protection of copyright, but some people don't understand these options. My god, that's terrible. Indeed it is, because if these people understood copyright, they could use it to their advantage instead of simply forgetting it exists. Oops, dropped my pencil. Okay, let me explain more. If this piece of junk here was the law of copyright, there are all these parts that fall under that law but are doing their own thing, and we call those different licenses. They all work under copyright, but they do different things. Wait, so you're telling me that there are multiple licenses I can choose from? Exactly! You have options. So what are my options, then? What should I be using when copyright gets too restrictive? Well, there are exactly seven different licenses created by what is called the Creative Commons. They are still copyright licenses, but what they do is give the rights owners more control. Do you want to take it away, Christopherson? Absolutely. Let me break it down for you. There are actually only six licenses in which fall under the Creative Commons. There's Attribution... Attribution share alike. Attribution no derivatives. Attribution non commercial. Attribution non commercial share alike. And attribution non commercial no derivatives. Hot Scott, that took forever. Yes, I agree. Well, so, uh, what's the purpose of all of this? I mean, why would I want to know all of these crazy licenses? Well, dude, that's actually a really good question. It doesn't even go here! And the answer is, because it directly affects you. Say you make a movie but want more of an audience. By licensing that movie under Creative Commons, your footage can get out into public through means of people using it and giving you credit. Therefore, expanding your reach of audience and content to places you otherwise wouldn't have gotten to. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, that's great and all, but what if I don't want my work stolen? Well, kiddo, I think the lady is trying to say that it can be beneficial to license your work under Creative Commons. Your work is more free and open. Don't you get it? You can spread creativity and gain popularity by letting your work become more available to people like you. Well, golly gee, missus, that does sound nice. Especially if I still get the attributions. So what does the fastest microchip have to do with Creative Commons? Nothing. But to recap, if you're an artist out there, license your work under Creative Commons. It gives you better opportunity, you can participate in a world of global spreading of creativity, and you can continue to remix movies just like this one through the use of sharing. And don't forget to go to creativecommons.org for more information. And start sharing, because it's polite.